if I can read this one out. It says, Senator Pierce and Representative Tobin were given an F grade by the Sierra Club. What do you, what would you do to help the environment if you were elected? Well, first, as the oldest one here, <laughs> I challenge all of you to a push-up contest. <laughs> the winner take all. How about it? Okay. As, uh, thank you to the question. I was the chair of the Environment Committee in the House of Representatives. At the time, we were absolutely riddled with laws that were extremely left-wing. Uh, for example, we had a very thick book of environmental requirements for kids, K-12. They had to, in dance, it was you literally danced like wolves. And in civics, we, we discussed how to tear down Grand Can Glen Canyon Dam. And we took those and we turned it on its head. We said, you can teach environmental concepts, but you have to teach both sides. You have to teach them to have critical thinking ability. They have to be able to assess correctly and then come up with their own fact-based conclusions. It, I was the head of the F Troop in my day there. I was the Colonel Agar or Corporal Agar of F Troop. And we did that on Superfund, on the water law, right here in the Verde Valley fighting SRB. And on 148 pieces of legislation to bring balance, alternative B to our forestry plans, uh, better grassland and, and water usage for our, our cattle grazing and so that you had balanced the Savoy method of of a, of a cattle and, and, and uh, raising all across in mining and minerals, in, in uh, forestry and tourism, in access. If we don't get those back, a proper use of the environment, where we are good stewards, we will never have a recovery in this district. This district is a natural resource district. And to have those use them correctly and wisely, where we have a very responsible use is, is critical. I proved it. I have that experience. I'm not afraid of it. It is, a, it is doable and achievable. Thank you. First of all, we've got to get over this notion that conservative doesn't mean a steward of the land and the environment. There's something wrong with that. And look what just happened in Flagstaff, an ecological disaster. Because of why? Lawsuits, lawsuits, lawsuits. You know what that tells me? Lawsuit back. If you can sue, turn around and get sued. Accountability and personal responsibility. My grandfather was a rancher. He took care of the land because if you didn't take care of the land, you didn't have anything to graze on. You didn't have water to, to take care of your, your, your crops and, and your, your animals. That's what's wrong here. It's common sense. Absolute common sense. And unfortunately, it takes a disaster like you saw in Flagstaff to make that common sense come back. But we have to involve our communities, and it starts with our educational process. I was actually, a, a, I got to have that opportunity as a kid in a public school system for all, all that matters. I actually got to work with the Game and Fish. I actually got to work with the Forest Service. But I actually got to work with private industry, too and got to see the common sense application of how you take care of the land. That's where we gotta get back to. And it's, and it's being the driving factor to say, hey, what you're trying to do, you're gonna lose more. We need to sit down and have common sense and work with industry, work with private industry. You can't have it your way. But the other side only sees one side. And now is your opportunity to make them see the other side. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you saw an ad two years ago that the um, Democrat Party ran against me. It was my smiling face, a big pipe, and toxic waste, and a couple smokestacks in the back. They did that ad because I sued the EPA. I'm not a lawyer. I was the plaintiff in that lawsuit. And they needed suing, and I would sue them again. Because this was an example where the EPA passed a regulation that would do nothing for the environment at all. And what it would do was shut down resources, jobs, all across Arizona. And we've won that lawsuit. Currently, I'm intervening in a lawsuit with the um, Forest Service and the Center for Biological Diversity over the willow flycatcher. Because what they're going to do, try to do, is expand willow flycatcher habitat so far over the state of Arizona 
that it will shut down mining, ranching, agriculture, all transportation projects. It will take away your private property rights. And you know what? It won't do anything for the willow flycatcher. Perfect example in the district. A rancher had two nesting pairs over his horse corral. And suddenly government bureaucrats come in and say, Mitt, you move your corral. Great expense, he moves the corral. You know the reason they're called little fly catchers? <laughs> they like flies. <laughs> as soon as they move the, well, guess what? Next season, uh -huh, they're gone. Who could figure? This is what's wrong with so much of the environmental stuff. So guaranteed, the, le the left wing environmental groups, the more left wing ones, will always grade me an F because it isn't about the environment. It's an agenda of control of your private property in many ways, and nothing is more evidence than that than the global warming stuff. Because believe me, this would be wealth redistribution from this country to the third world if we pass the legislation that is proposed that will do nothing about climate change at all, but it will put such a burden on this economy, watch unemployment go through the roof. So we need to do things in terms of the environment. And I've been proud to be involved in things like mining reclamation in my work with small businesses that are in the mine, and we have done wonderful things. So there are things that are good things to do, but some of this stuff is an agenda that has nothing to do with the environment. 